Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and welcome back to another mod review in five minutes or less in most cases. Are you looking to add a little bit more immersion to your gameplay? A little bit more real life experience? Well this mod might do that just for you. This is the manual attach mod from Wobster. It's available in the Giants in-game mod hub. Once you've downloaded that mod into the game and activated it into your game save, You'll want to come into your settings menu and just verify that the mod is actually active and on here. Now the cool thing about this particular version for Farming Simulator 22 as compared to this mod for earlier versions of Farming Simulator is we now have the ability to turn it on and off, activate it or deactivate it, deactivate it directly from our settings screen. So if you don't want to play with this mod for a little while, you can just simply turn it off. But for the sake of this uh, video we want to have it turned on because I'm going to show you some of the ways that this mod works. Now this mod works on the majority of your of your equipment that you have. However, the way that it attaches and, and detaches from the equipment will vary based on the equipment that you're using. So we're first going to test it in our K7150 Combine Harvester. Um, here first we need to get into the Combine Harvester. We need to fire it up and we need to go ahead and click the Q key to connect our header to our harvester. And then we can go ahead and shut the engine off so that it's not so noisy. And then we need to come out to the header here and you'll notice in your menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen that we get a Z, a, a, a Z trigger to attach the power takeoff. Once we've done that, the header is ready to go and we're ready to go and combine some corn um, or some sunflowers. All right, the next one I will demonstrate is this tether here. And um, much the same way, um, we can come up to the attachment here. We will get our Q icon to attach the tether. We will attach that. We will attach the power takeoff. And then we will long hold the Z key to attach our hydraulic lines. And just to unattach it or, or detach it from the tractor, it's just the opposite. We will long hold to detach the uh, hydraulic lines. We will press Z to detach the power takeoff and then Q to detach the implement. Um, let's go over here to our wheel loader. Now here, this functions much like the combine does. We do need to get into the wheel loader and start the engine. We need to go ahead and connect the bucket to it. We can shut the engine off so it doesn't make noise. And then we can come over here and we need to attach the hydraulic hoses like that we are ready to go now if for some reason you were to fail to attach the hydraulic hoses or something to an implement then you may experience that that implement does not work or the brakes are going to be permanently owned something something like that so we'll come over here to another another uh, piece of equipment we've got our fent tractor connected to our plow we can come over here and we will attach the plow and then we will long hold the z button to attach our hydraulic lines. Simple. One more demonstration for you. We will just walk around to the other side of this enclosure here and we'll get into our Mack truck. And very similar to the combine, we do need to enter the Mack truck and we will need to connect the trailer that way. We can get out of the Mack truck, come over here and then long hold on the Z key to attach our hydraulic hoses and the opposite would be true if we wanted to detach um, the rig from the trailer. We would hit Q. It will lower the legs and we can drive the, uh, the Mack truck out from underneath the tipper trailer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in for another mod review in five minutes or less in most cases. Um, I hope that you find these to be interesting for you and helpful to you and that uh, gives you the information that you need to know if you want to use these mods on your farm. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.